Hello. Um, I wanted to hop on here and talk about what every dieter needs to know about weight loss with the new year. We're all setting goals. We're all on a journey to figure out how we can become healthier and lose weight. And you may have always waited for the perfect time or the perfect circumstances and the perfect conditions in order for you to start. So the truth of the matter is your weight loss goals should never be treated like a 50 yard dash, but more like a 26 mile marathon. And the first thing that every dieter needs to know in order to see long-term sustainable results is not dieting. And you may be a little bit confused and probably not the answer that I was going to tell you. You may be like, well, that's confusing. You know, why wouldn't I diet if I'm looking to lose weight? So, what I want you to do is change your mindset away from the dieting mindset. And I want you to start changing your paradigm and focusing on how can you better improve a new healthy lifestyle? Because at the end of the day, a diet is short term, a lifestyle is forever. And I remember I used to be that person that waited for the perfect time to start something after summer, after my birthday, after the new year. But in fact, when you try to diet, you, you know, you always have the right intentions um, but the problem is that your diet is always starting with negative framing. So today I wanted to dive in a little bit about why negative framing keeps a lot of people from succeeding and really reaching their goals at the end. Because every diet, no matter which one you try, every diet tells you what not to do. <clears throat> so when you start a diet, the first thing you could think of is typically okay, well, I can't have bread, I can't have sugar, I can't eat pasta, I can't have all the foods that are really my guilty pleasures because they're all bad, 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 bad. And everyone says, you know, I'm going to give up cookies after the holiday. I'm going to give up this after the holidays. Now, the only thing you're thinking about is what you have to give up. We've all been there. I've been there too. And the problem with this way of dieting is that even before you started your diet, you're setting yourself up to fail. So I always like using this example about kids because... Whether we have kids, I'm sure you've been around kids, you know how kids respond. Um, so you could probably relate to what I'm about to say. But what happens most of the time when you tell your kids they can't do something, they're going to do it. I was one of those kids that if you told me not to do something, I would figure out a way to do it. Anyway, so <laughs> unfortunately, even as adults, we act the same way because psychologically, whenever we're told that we can't do something or whenever we're told not to do something, that's the first thing our mind gravitates to. That's what we're going to focus on the most. So that's why even after the first day or the first week of you on this diet, no matter how well you did, the only thing you could think about is the pizza, the cookies, and everything you can't eat. All diets put a negative connotation around certain foods. So when it comes to uh, dieting, negative framing is what causes most people uh, to develop a poor relationship with food in the first place. So when you only think salads and meat and vegetables are good, well, then you're going to look at pizza and bagels and pastas as bad. You'll always say, oh, eat vegetables, they're good, and don't eat pizza, it's bad. When in fact, that's the furthest thing from the truth. No one's ever taking pizza out of my hands. I'm always going to eat pizza. I love pizza. And I'm sure you can relate. Um, and you can lose weight and still be, you know, healthy if you eat your salads and your meats and your vegetables alongside your pizza, your bagels, and your pasta. Because when you're told you can't do something, you immediately associate that thing that you can't do with being bad. Um, you know, if you can't do, you know, can't do a specific thing, you're going to think that thing you can't do is not a good choice, which also leads to binge eating along with feeling guilty after eating something because you think those foods are not the best. So when you restrict yourself from eating certain foods from long for long durations of time, you know, that's what causes a lot of people to go on a binge. So they consume so much food either in one sitting or one weekend that turns to a week because they feel deprived of whatever that specific food is for so long. Now, on the other side, you also have situations where people will be eating, you know, good all week and then they have a cookie or a cheat meal and now they feel guilty. Also a poor relationship with food because a diet will cause you to feel 
guilt and diets are mentally draining because you know, a lifestyle teaches you how to incorporate the veggies, the protein with the cookies and the pizza without the guilt, with better results and longer happiness because now you can lose the weight doing things you enjoy and now it lasts forever. So this now leads me to, you know, why a lifestyle will always lead to a better and more, you know, permanent change rather than a short-term change. And a lifestyle... And something that we do at Jacked and Rich Fitness is we focus on positive framing. Positive framing is really the game changer when it comes to weight loss. Um, setting and reaching goals and hitting them, you know, without all the mental stress is what you want. You want a lifestyle that focuses on positive framing because it focuses on what you need to do rather than what you can't do. So a few examples would be, you know, needing to add more vegetables in your day. And maybe you need to add more water in your day daily. And maybe you need to add more lean proteins in your meals. So when you're focusing on those targets, you're now focusing on tasks you need to complete that will move you in a forward direction. Rather than focusing on the things you can't do that's actually causing you to get stressed out and overwhelmed because you can't do this and you can't do that. And now you're only focusing on what you can't do. So the thing with positive framing and why it's successful is because if you are focusing on the things you need to do, you will actually automatically crowd out some of the things that no longer fit without even noticing it. Why? Because now you're focusing on eating more vegetables. You're focused on, you know, maybe uh, eating more vegetables that will cause you to eat less sweets without actually focusing on not eating the sweets. You're just, the only thing you're focusing on is eating more vegetables. You're going to get full and you're focused on drinking more water. And now instead of drinking four sodas a day, maybe because of all the water you drink, you're down to one and a half sodas. That's still amazing progress. You don't have to go from four sodas to zero, but maybe you cut it in half. But instead, the reason why this is super important is because you choose to drink or you, you're the one that's making the decision. You choose to drink the water and that's actually forcing you to drink less soda rather than saying, oh, I can't drink soda. Let me drink water. So do you notice the shift in the mindset when you look at these things from this perspective, focusing on what you could do rather than just focusing on the bad? So you don't just give up everything all at once you slowly focus on the things you need you know to be you know doing day to day because that's what will actually help you get a happy medium and a lifestyle that you and only you can handle that will move you in a forward direction long term because you choose to do it rather than being told what you shouldn't be doing you're focusing on the good whatever you are starting to implement day to day that will actually crowd out some of the negatives without you having to focus on it. So this simple change in your mindset and approach is really um, going to move you forward toward your goals and really everything that you do. Um, everyone will lose weight in a slightly different way if you continuously following an approach that everyone else is doing, unfortunately, you will continue failing because it's not what you decided that works for you um, and what works for your time and what works for your goals and your lifestyle. So a lifestyle is a forever type thing and it has to be something that you enjoy or else you're still stuck in the dieting world because a diet is doing stuff that you don't want to do. And dieting will never give you long-term results. It will never give you the freedom that you deserve. And I can promise you there are people losing weight, eating foods they love, doing exercises they love, um, all while seeing results without, the de without depriving themselves. So I hope this was helpful. I wanted to actually give you the opportunity to join my free Facebook group. It's a group that is filled with over 2,500 women. We're all working and striving toward health and fitness goals. We have many challenges each week. It's really a place where you can share your journey, get some motivation, meet some new friends for the new year. Um, I'm going to attach the link below. Um, so feel free to come on in because we would love to have you. Um, if you do decide to join please introduce yourself say hi don't be shy let us know what your goals are um, and tomorrow I'm actually going to be hopping on here um, so join me at 7 p.m because I'm going to be on here talking about why 
eating more food is actually going to help you lose weight rather than eating less food. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow.